Hey guys and welcome to a new video. No, yeah, the second part. Finally the day where we got the last few pieces to our puzzle for the brake upgrade. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, so the last piece we are wait. Okay, my, my, my sister's behind the camera, so here you can hold this shit. So, uh, like I told you guys, we were waiting for some more pieces from SNS Engineering. So here's the bag and the two, these two and the stuff in the bag. That's what we got shipped now, finally. And we already finished one of the calipers, put the new... Uh, hey, future Philip is trickling in real quick and telling you that I did it wrong the first time. The two gold plates uh, are in there wrong, so I will put a little clip in, uh, clip in here in a second and show you how it's done right. So don't follow the first few steps because I put them in wrong. Ooh, adapter plates, whatever you want to call these in, which is a pain in the ass, isn't it? Yeah, my, my, my sister's nodding her head. Uh, so this capil, ca, capil, caliper is already done. This one is ready to go to the car. And now I'm gonna show you the process of how you do the, eh, getting the goldy thingies in here, which are in the bag. Um, so we got these gold thingies right here in the bag, these two. That's what we, is it focusing? So this the two things that we need and you can follow the instructions that SNS Engineering sends you or you just do what I do. I mean, it's the same thing because I'm following the instructions from SNS Engineering. So what you have to do is line these up right and then I have to use a hammer. He said you can use a C-clamp or you can use a shop press, which I don't have. So what you have to do is put these in here. Exact, you have all these marks. Okay guys, we are back after a couple hours now because we just figured out that we did it wrong. So make sure that you guys don't do it like I did it. I'm probably gonna put this in front of the other video first so nobody does it wrong. So I was telling you that, hey, right here, come on, that these lines have to align, but actually it's these lines have to be right here and this one has to be right here and those have to align and this one is the one that's supposed to align with that. So we're gonna have to hammer these back out, which is not too hard, I already just finished the other side and then I have to hammer it back in. In the beginning, I would just use one of these to get it a little bit more solid in there because you're gonna have to grind something off the bag, which I'm gonna show you in a second. So what I'm doing now is just somewhat get it on there which is, it's not gonna be straight yet, but you can fix it with the hammer. As you can see, this is not straight at all, but it's gonna be good enough to figure out where you have to grind on the bag, which I'm gonna do now. So you take your Dremel and you need a, where did I put the plastic piece? You need this, a tungsten carbide cutter. Looks like, well, this one is already used, but it just has like all these little uh, thingies on it which grind on the caliper. So what we're gonna have to do, since the bolt is not gonna clear right here to screw it in, you see the bolt is not straight. There you go, you see the bolt is not straight. It has to be like this, but it's like this because it's hitting this corner right here. So we're gonna grind this corner off. Best way to do this, just use your Dremel and then start grinding. I'll show you how to do it. So this is how it's gonna look like. I know it's, I scratched the shit up, don't worry about it. You're just gonna have to cut in here, grind it away so the screw will be... Now we gotta align this again. Okay, so after we got this, now it's aligned. All we gotta do is use the hammer, make sure that you have it straight, and then you just use a piece of blocks that are under it you can use also one on top but that didn't work for me so maybe you have to use something else on top if you don't want to damage this I would I don't know why you wouldn't but yeah this is aligned so now I'm gonna use my sister she's gonna hold this and I'm gonna hammer this in okay as you seen in the time-lapse it is in and now uh, you can use this bolt to go in here and then I'm gonna use my uh, what is that thing called? impact gun here impact gun and I'm just gonna screw the screw all the way in that's gonna suck in the adapter thing for the last little bit 
here, Amy. You got this. Put it a little bit down. There you go. Just so they can see the... And all you gotta do is go in. Now, it might look like I'm damaging this, but this is a weak impact gun, so it can't really... You, you cannot even get bolts from a tire off, so it's just struggling a little bit. There we go. Don't touch that bolt. It's hot. And that's it. Now, one of the sides is done. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Just make sure that the gold plate, uh, the gold, uh, the alignment lines line up and the 90 degree angle is 90 degree to this caliper piece. Like this long piece right here. Yeah, and that's it. We are back. Um, we got the last one in. It's right here. So that's done now. So all we gotta do now is jack up the car, take the wheel off and see how if we can do it. Let me see how the weather is because I don't want to start one and then the weather is bad and I can finish it today. It's good enough, I guess. Shouldn't take too long to put these on. So yeah, we will see us again when we are out there jacking up the car and take the wheel off, right? Let's go. Okay, so <laughs> we got, got it right. This is how the alignment has to be. Yes. Okay. We're gonna put it on the car now. So let's go. Once you got, come on. Yeah. Once you got your wheel off, first thing you have to do, of course, is take your old caliper off. You have the two screws back here that you have to take off, and you have this one line back here that you have to disconnect because we're gonna upgrade to the braided brake lines so first thing we're gonna do is caliper off caliper shouldn't be too bad just hit it like this and then you already have it loose same thing on the bottom i wouldn't unscrew one screw all it i wouldn't screw ah jesus what am i trying to say i wouldn't unscrew one screw all the way before i don't have the other one loose because the whole brake caliper is gonna wiggle around then and then it's harder to get the screw off. So we get that one off. Okay, once we got these off, we need a screwdriver to go in here. And then we just bend it up like this. And that's all. Once we get rid of that line, I don't have to worry about. Let me see how this brake caliper looks like. That one looks better than the other one. Here we got the brake pads. Now we have to take the caliper holdy thingy off. That should be a 16, 16 millimeter. Two screws back here. Same way, just hit it a couple times and it's gonna come loose. There you go. Two. Then we take the rotor off and then we got this piece. Now, now we got this small spacer right here that comes shipped with your S and S engineering kit that goes on here. Then it's the new rotor, but I don't worry about that yet. We're gonna have to take this line up first right here. That is a 11 millimeter. Okay, so we have to unscrew that one. Okay, got that one loose enough. Now we have to take, there's this one clip. where well, you can't even see. <laughs> there we got this one clip right here. This one, we're gonna have to pry that one off so we can take this line out. Well, here's the clip. We gotta keep that one because we need it again. Then we can keep unscrewing the line. And once we got that line off, the whole caliper comes out. Now, you don't need to save this clip that's on here. I might have to because I lost my other one, which should be laying in the grass over there somehow, but I don't know where it is at. So I might have to keep mine. But when you buy the, when you buy the braided cable set from uh, where did I buy it from? Shit, I don't remember. But the link is in the description anyway. Uh, it comes with new clips, so you don't have to reuse the old one. Good. Got it all solid now. Nothing moves. Clips are back in. Now it's time for the rotor. Go. That goes in like that. Yeah, my hands are dirty. We got some ends on the rotor, but we don't worry about that either. So now... Okay, I'm back. I would just always make sure that your hands are clean when you have a painted caliper like I do because you don't want to have it dirty. You know, you painted it for a reason, so why not try to keep it clean? 
So now it's the same process. You just screw it in from the back. Just gotta find the holes. So I don't know if there's a Torx bag for all this stuff or something, but I would just make sure that you have it tight. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now behind the caliper, there's this thing which we didn't take off because we painted it. We pull it off and then we have, we got this little guy. It has a hole in it, two actually. So we're gonna put one spacer on the screw. Then we go through this and then have the spacer on the other side of it and then we just screw it in here. So I'm gonna do that right now. So spacer number one. Then there's a sticker on the brake line that we have to remove. Go. Then we put the screw in, put the other spacer around it and then we just screw it into the caliper. Good. That should be a, that's a 12 millimeter. So we screw that one tight. There go. It's tight. Good. And yeah, that's it. Now we just put the wheel on and then we're gonna have to bleed the brakes. And there's different ways on how to bleed the brakes. We're gonna do it the two person way. You could also, but yeah, I'm just gonna do it with my sister. She's gonna push the brakes while I open the nozzles. When you bleed your brakes, always start on the back rear. The furthest away from the master cylinder, then it's left rear, right front, left front. And then the master cylinder also has a bleeding, yeah, the master cylinder also has a bleeding uh, nozzle, actually two. And you uh, make sure you bleed that one too, because it's important, otherwise your brakes don't work. But yeah, for now, that's it. Um, I'm gonna show you the end result on this side. This is how it looks like when it's done. Yes, I had to put my new wheels on. The Cobra 17 inch don't work. Maybe the regular Cobras work. I tried a spacer, 16 spacer. But uh, yeah, I was rubbing on the inside of the spokes right here. So yeah, that didn't work. But yeah, we're gonna put the other, so I'm gonna drive around with two different wheels, but that's fine for now. I guess. And yeah, we're gonna put my other new wheel on and then that's pretty much it. I hope you liked this video guys and we will see us in the next one. Right, Amy? Yeah, see you next time.